You've seen it in movies so many times that you're pretty much an expert at this point, right? Well, it's not true of Kung Fu and it certainly isn't true of guns. You know what it takes to make a shot at that range. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we're looking at myths about guns that are perpetuated by Hollywood movies. Put down the gun. Myth number five, bullets can still hit you through water. We all know that the water is a bad place to be in an action movie. It's cold, it ruins your badass outfit, and it makes you an easy target for foes trying to fill you with lead. Seems logical since bullets can punch through wood and some metals, so why not water, right? Consider this though, what hurts more, belly flopping off a diving board or off a bridge? The faster you're moving, the more force you hit the water with, and the water hits back just as hard. Slow moving bullets, such as pistol rounds, impact with less force and can travel through up to 8 feet of water in the right conditions. Any rifle round or bigger will lose all of its energy when impacting the water, and will not be able to kill you after a few feet. Wow, this thing's breaking up the minute it hits the water. So next time you're being chased by a helicopter, go for a swim. Myth number four, cars are bulletproof. Who needs water when you've got a car? If there's one thing that Hollywood has taught us about being shot at, it's that you can always rely on the ingenuity of the automotive industry for safety. Trust us though, you're probably better off diving into a pool. Cars are built with a structural support to keep them safe from other cars hitting them, but the metal panels on the car's body are kept light to save on weight. A bullet could easily punch through a door, travel through the car's cabin, out the other side, and still be lethal to the action junkie who thought he was safe. There is one bulletproof part of the car, and that's the engine. All that heavy duty metal is just too much for a little bullet to make it through. Just don't expect to drive off after the gunfight. Myth number three, bullets cause things to explode. So if you throw a couple bullets at a car, it'll cause a flashy explosion, right? Not the case. In fact, car manufacturers actually work pretty hard to make sure that the gas tank is protected and won't explode at the slightest rupture, so the car has to take serious damage for that kind of fireball to happen. It's true though, that under certain conditions many things will explode when shot, such as pressurized objects like spray paint cans, but even then they usually need an open flame source nearby to really get that booming explosion you see in the movies. Here's another explosion for your movie kids. Not one word. Directors often use sparks from gunshots to illustrate where the bullets have been going on screen, but in reality there's only a spark if the bullet hits a specific metal, and even then it's usually not enough to ignite anything. Sorry Michael Bay. <laughs> Myth number two, bulletproof vests will stop anything. Hey, if it works for Doc Brown, it'll work for us. Turns out his field was time travel and not ballistics. I figured. What the hell? So does body armor stop bullets? Depends on the armor, but more importantly it depends on the bullet. High-end soft body armor, which is typically made of Kevlar, is rated to stop up to a 44 Magnum, which is great if you're being chased by Dirty Harry. But rifle bullets, which are smaller and move a hell of a lot faster, will shred soft body armor. Looks like we went through several panels. One, two, three. Military and tactical police units use armor plates made out of steel and ceramic material and will stop some rifle rounds. However, even if the armor you're wearing stops the bullet, there's still significant energy transfer, so it doesn't mean you're safe. I think I broke a rib. Myth number one, silences make guns super quiet. The hell is that in your hand? It's a pistol, sir. Is that a silencer? Yes, sir. Let's make one thing clear. Gunshots are really freaking loud. That rock concert that left your ears ringing was in the neighborhood of 130 decibels. A jet engine is around 140. Your average gunshot, 160. Bruce Willis has permanent hearing damage in one ear from making Die Hard, so be careful. Thanks for the advice. That's okay, just slap on a silencer. The problem is when a gun fires, you're actually hearing three different sounds at the same time. The action of the gun, the gunpowder exploding, and the bullet breaking the sound barrier. A suppressor will help with one of these sounds, but at best, you're knocking 30 decibels off. In other words, that's still extremely loud. Maybe not deafening, but the other henchmen are definitely going to hear it. So how many of these myths did you believe? What? Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Here's what Google searches are asking about guns. How do guns get their names? Do bullets ricochet off water? Can you use a gun to pierce your nose? For more mind-blowing top 10 lists and completely safe top 5s published daily, 
be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hasta la vista, baby.